Hey folks, Dr. Sigma here with part 8 of Let's Play Soleil. We've just arrived in the town of Iris, which was the town that somebody mentioned a long time ago. Except, oh, we're not quite in the town yet. We're gonna have to go through a little adventure area first. That's cool though. But before we go on, let's take a look at that animal we rescued last time. Ciel, the flying squirrel. Throw your sword against a wall and it'll bounce off. That's actually not the only thing that he does. It actually totally changes the way your sword behaves when you throw it. See, it doesn't just bounce. It goes as far as it possibly can. Then it bounces. Then it goes as far as it possibly can again. Then it kind of slows down and comes back. And the camera will follow your sword the entire time, which is really weird. And of course you... Oop, can't move until it comes back, of course. I don't know why I said of course, because it's not like it's obvious or anything. But yeah, it's a really strange ability, and it, it, it just it feels weird, and I don't really like it, but of course there are some times when you have to use it. And those are going to be the only times that I do use it. So I don't need it right this minute, so let's put Johnny back. Ooh, I forgot to throw my sword. <laughs> After all that to hook. Same with the ice sword, when you throw it. Those dudes, those caterpillar dudes, don't roll up into a ball when you hit them. It still takes just as many hits to kill them, but they don't roll up into a ball. And these tree trunk spiders are really annoying and nasty because they throw records at you. I guess they're really not records, they're little copies of themselves, I really don't know. But, it sucks. So yeah. Remember how I said we're only going to use CL when we have to? Well, guess what, folks? We have to. Watch. Boing, boing, woo! Ha ha ha, yay! I'm taking them off immediately because I really don't like them. There's actually a couple of, you can see there's a couple of different ways we could go here. I'm going to go the upper way first. Because I think that's where we want to go first. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. But, but for Seattle, besides the times when you need to bounce your sword, there may also be times when you just have to throw your sword really freaking far, or you want to throw your sword really far, or whatever. Those are also the times to use him. You're really not going to want to use him in boss fights. Because losing the ability to move around when you throw your sword, that's just no good. And we've arrived! We've arrived in the town of Iris. And behold! A bugged NPC! Cory, I'm not supposed to be able to talk to you. You're a human. What are you talking about? She's talking about her master? What, is she a slave? Let's see that again. I don't like heroes. Yeah, heroes are like Amon. Amon the bastard, the jerk. Won't shove his sword right up his urethra. Also, she does have a master. Cool, so she's a slave. Let's go in this house here. Let's talk to this dog. <laughs> Wait a minute. That speech looks familiar. Yep, folks, it's a bug. That NPC out there just copies this dog's speech for some reason. And there's Amon. Can't talk to him. Can't talk to him. Can't talk to her. Him. Another house, hopefully there's an animal in it. There's not, so there's no one for us to talk to. Bloody useless town. There's an open treasure chest, which means there's nothing in it. Let's remember that, folks, okay? Iris has a treasure chest in it. Ooh, big hole in the ground. Ah, the place where I'm going to... I'm about to spend some malin, even though I don't have to. For storyline purposes, I'm going to go ahead and do it. Mm, ten mile in to hear what he has to say, sure. The fortune teller, yeah, we know the fortune teller very well. No, not all humans can understand you nowadays. What happened to the fortune teller? Oh, freaking extortionist. 
said she was going to make tracks. Yeah. Human trick. You know. Do you have anything more to say, actually? Nah. Jerk. So, he told us about the fortune teller, which we already knew about. Then he told us that she left. And something about that big hole in the ground. That was a waste of 20 marlin. And I'm actually going to need some more marlin soon, so... I'm going to be killing enemies. No, no, I don't have to. There's a, there's a money bag. Yeah, there's a money bag coming up soon, isn't there? I think there is. Yeah, and I think it's one that's not extremely difficult to get to, so I'm not worried about it. But if I do get to the part where I have to spend the mile and I don't have enough, I'll off-screen grinding it. So what are we doing now, anyway? We really don't know. We really don't have a... I guess we're gonna try to find the fortune teller, find out what the hell's going on. Oh, there's money. Can I get to it yet? Oh, do I have to put back CL? Which kind of, which by the way, means heaven, or sky in French. Which makes sense, but with him being flying squirrel and all. I want that money! Jerks. Alone, I want my frickin' money. Wow. Sure, I'm making us go a long way to get it. And then we can't anyway. You pricks. Who am I calling pricks anyway? I really don't know. What you are watching should have been edited in the final version. Our apologies. Just remember, if you get too close to lava or water, the edges will act like a one-way platform and pull you right in. And here's how we get the goddamn money. Uh, this is how we do. We get the bag of money. We need it soon. Two ways to go. Which way do we go first? Let's go up here. Ah, uh, yes up here. A uh, little hole in the ground, and what's in here? It's a rabbit. The oh, the Tower of Babel! Something strange occurred there, yes. Dr. Lugai tried to put us to sleep with his gas attacks, and then we killed him, and then Rubicon showed up, and he healed- oh. I'm sorry, that's the wrong Tower of Babel. Oh! So I guess while I've been on my little adventure, stuff has been going on in the world as a whole. Something happened at the Tower of Babel. And the humans can't communicate with each other anymore, so it's not just me. Punishment for something they did. Hmm. So the humans can't talk to each other anymore. And something happened at the Tower of Babel. And we've got all this weird stuff going on with the fortune teller. We got ourselves a pluck coming together bit by bit, and there's Ramsey, but we don't want to rent anything. We've already got Kitty, and the only other thing he's renting is Egg Bomb, which attacks all the enemies on the screen, only once. And, but it's just, it's not worth the money. Hello, Beaver. Oh, your darling is making a sweet home for you. That's nice, we can't get to it. It's water. Hey, skunk. Uh, yeah, I did know that. I've been dealing with them. The monster in Burn Daisy is making them with magic. You couldn't be talking about that stupid centipede monster, could you? No freaking way. I wonder if you're talking about that guy, the little gremlin, the little gremlin dude on the other side of the wall that I couldn't get to. You must be talking about him. He's so powerful that he makes centipede monsters and stuff. And we can't fight him yet, because we can't get to him. Why am I pushing these blocks into the holes? Like, do I have a reason for doing this? I don't know. Great! Oh, okay, okay, yeah, so, okay. Fix the flow of hope. Uh, yeah! See? Give me my reward. A golden apple! Oh, hells yeah! You hate humans? Oh, okay, I hate humans too. It's all good. I'm super emo. Okay. 
Now this is the part where we needed the marlin. It's kind of hard to tell from here, but over there to the right is a race course. And we're going to be racing on it. If we win the race, we get something really cool. Hell, not just something really cool, but something essential. Something we can't beat the game without. Something we can't even progress any further without. We won't be able to get out of Iris Forest without it. So, next time on Let's Play Soleil, we're going to be taking part in the race and hopefully winning it and claiming something pretty cool. So yeah, this is Doc Sigma signing off. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. See you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.